have to mention my notebooks. Uh, there's copies of some of them with people. I don't know who, but I don't know how long those will last and how many people find those important. Recently, the one that's been stolen. I'm scared of the people that took it. Um, maybe not wanting it to be. I'm hoping that they just keep it just for themselves. It's just that it's a lot of private information in my journals. The songs are very personal. I don't know how many big stars have really used some of the stuff in there. I don't listen to the radio. But I went recently went on that trip and um, I heard some songs. I was very surprised, so I looked it up on YouTube, and I was even more surprised when I saw some of them on there in video. I said, well, that's a lot of money that's just sort of gone. I don't know what to do, um, but I have to talk about it. I know there's other people, they're telling me there's other people that are on YouTube saying the same things, complaining about stolen music and whatever. Um, I don't know anything about those people, but I know one of them has done it to me, too. So, I don't know their names, and I don't really want to mention more about that. I don't know them. But I know that it is possible, and it has happened to me. I've been doing it a long time. What's sad to me is that they don't... I've had pages... Um, a few years ago, they started just doing the pages, which I wasn't so unhappy about. I was like, okay, that's better. At least it's not my whole notebook. But then they started doing just pages. And I started doing indexes. When I did the index. They started stealing the whole notebooks. Well, what do you expect me to do? You have to protect yourself somehow. Um... The only other song I know in there, it's sad. Everything that's in the one, the big stars, the big stars happy to be people I'm a huge fan of. And I get disappointed. There's a quote to the song in there, you know, Queens of the Stone Age. I don't even want to mention it because I love them dearly. They probably hate me, but I think they're great. They're a really great band. I haven't said enough about... I was mentioning their album a lot on my other channel. Now it's all gone. They're one of the best albums this year. If you don't have it, go pick it up for Christmas. Because one of my songs is on... A couple of my songs are on there. <laughs> I'm not getting gay before because I lost my notebook. But... Um... In real life, they're pretty nice to me. I've never met them, but you know what I mean by real life. If I ever sp spoken to them, they're actually really... But what, what else are you going to do? You're not going to be like total jerks and assholes about anything, are they? Or are they? You'd never know because I wouldn't be able to say so legally. Would I? All right. So they're cool, and let me think, because um, I don't have, I used to have a written index of all my books, not written, typed up indexes of all my books. I don't know where it went. I lost a lot of information on my other computer, so I'm hoping I could retrieve some of it somehow, somewhere. With my stupid virus that took over my whole life for almost a year. Computer world. 
The world of computers sucks for me. I'm so not. I used to be a couple years, you know, before I started YouTube, computer was like my thing. I could do everything on it. I could get into any program and just figure the whole thing out. But once you start YouTube, it's like the whole world just goes shitty. You don't know what to do anymore. Everything sucks. Unless you're really good at, like, killing people, you can't do anything anymore. <laughs> um, I lost my mind. I hate it. But what are you supposed to do? Where else are you supposed to put your videos where it makes sense? Ow, I can't move my face. So, I just showed you one picture of my movie. There's another movie right after it in that same notebook. I'll show you because I don't want it to get stolen. 2013. Um, it's a horror movie. I already have a star in mind. If he wants to get a hold of me, that would be fantastic. Maybe we could work on it. He probably won't, but that would be fantastic. <laughs> it's, um, it's very, oh God, I can't remember Shakespeare. There's a, there's a scene in one of Shakespeare's plays that I was inspired by. I wanted to do the whole movie around something like that. Very graveyard dragging bodies into uh, dug up holes everybody knows about it but it's within the times back then everybody knew about it and all they did was get buried now if it happens I mean you go to jail right but in an imaginary world good luck finding the guy without getting killed you know what I mean so that's a horror flick and this guy has this face. I don't know if you remember a man by the name of Eddie Furlong, Edward Furlong, from T2. If you do remember, that's great. But I had his face in mind for <laughs> the beginning, um, where he's really scared. And then they have like a, they show the relationship between him and the girl, the first girl that gets killed. Uh, and then being good friends and watching like a horror movie. A very sort of classic, but she's really fun loving and, and sort of cares about him a lot and his well-being because he seems to be depressed, which is like average behavior of a horror movie buff which he isn't it's just that he's been down so he watches a lot of crazy things she notices and she tries to cheer him up it doesn't really work well later on they got caught up in like this not a neighborhood watch but like the whole like a whole group of people is just going outside maybe it's Halloween or something I haven't finished it it's just that I had two scenes in mind and I really didn't know if I wanted to go anywhere with it so that's my story they're like little short stories that I thought would be cool if I put in my film I'm not like the youtubers that get all their friends together and like make a movie don't have a hell of a lot of friends or even a camera a webcam so my little phone camera is not going to be posted on YouTube it will look like this <laughs> and that's about only good enough for horror movies um, so that's that idea and that's the last one in that book there's only two Two ideas in the whole damn book. Everything else is just my life sucks. When I, today I watched, today I watched the leaves falling out of the tree, and 
and I thought that the fence was going to blow over, but it was just a shadow. And today, my cat was running so freaking fast, I thought he was going to hit the wall, but it didn't happen. I mean, nobody wants to read that. So, don't. <laughs> okay? Don't. We don't. <laughs> but I did this morning, or the past few days, I've been watching a lot of movies. Movie movies. I don't watch just crap, you know. I used to watch any crap. I don't do that. I don't waste my time anymore. I'm too old to waste my time on crap. <laughs> anyway, I'm beating up my biscuits. They're no good anymore. We get into the second notebook and um, recite some things. I'm working on a really great story, actually. And, um, like a trailer. I'll tell it to you like a trailer. So you can tell me if you like it, if you'd watch it. But you have to wait a long, long time before you'd see any, anything like it. Uh, there are a few short stories that I could go through. I have to. Like I said, I have to. Because, like, my whole books go missing. The whole thing. All of it. <laughs> I didn't even take it out of the trunk. I left my books in the trunk. I came back and checked the trunk again. And they were gone. Like I knew. Like I knew there's somebody here. And I don't know who. But they just were gone. Yeah. And oh, I don't know what to do. It's sad. I'm sad. I'm really broken up about it. But I'd still like to offer a deal. Not like a record deal, but like I got this idea in mind in a previous video. I like to pitch it to somebody. And see if they pick it up. If they like my idea, then my whole shebang with everything going down the tube of Shady Records could be redeemed and totally made up for. Otherwise, it's sadness forever because I. I sort of vowed not to rap anymore. I didn't really vow. It's just that rap hooks and raps in general. I don't. I decided not to waste my time anymore. I didn't want to rap anymore unless it was like a fun thing everyone made it so just a drag you know it's not like I make money there aren't a lot of things out here you can do with it so it's not fun anymore and I decided to just use my stuff for something else And that's what I'm doing, and you're going to see it, and it's going to be... Oh, who am I kidding? Pay no attention to what I said. I'm probably going to do it again. I just don't know when. <laughs> but it won't be for you-know-who. <sighs> Not on purpose. I don't do these... Ugh whatever thanks anyway no I'm saying it 
Thanks. Anyway, I hate this. Don't do this. <sighs> Bye.